to today's morning report charts and analysis videos on Wednesday the 20th of December with me with your market analyst at Handset Markets. We've got an interesting reaction really, um, or should it be non-reaction really, to the uh, tax reform bill going through Senate uh, overnight. What we have seen is very little reaction really from the dollar despite the fact that we saw Treasury yields sharply high yesterday. But that move higher on Treasury yields could be something to do with the, uh, the fact that German Bund yields were also sharply higher. That came on the back of the fact that um, the, uh, uh, there was an announcement that there was going to be a significant increase in uh, longer dated Bund supply um, and subsequently Bund yields fell, uh, sorry, rose sharply on the back of that um, and that uh, sort of helped to uh, pull Treasury yields higher but uh, subsequently we haven't seen the dollar reacting at all interestingly and um, in fact it's sort of relatively sort of stable today there's very little direction really on on forex majors at all very slight improvement in sentiment um, with the uh, with the uh, yen which is slightly weaker and dollar yen higher but other than that nothing really t in terms of direction um, so we're sort of seeing little real move on the back of this tax reform uh, sort of uh, bill that's been passed through the Senate. It still needs to be voted through the House of Representatives, um, which uh, had a bit of a technical glitch um, in terms of uh, its voting. So it needs to um, needs to vote again today. Uh, but uh, subsequently, I think it's going to go through, and um, the president was likely to sign it into legislation um, before Christmas. So the, this does seem to sort of have the, uh, an air of um, the fact that equity markets are slightly weaker. <coughs> Nothing too significant, but slightly weaker. So, I mean, it has the bullish aspect of this uh, tax reform bill already been played out? That would be the question. Um, yeah, it's, it's difficult to determine at this stage, but um, it's interesting to see, as I said, that uh, Treasury yields have pushed higher, but uh, we're not seeing the uh, real reaction on the dollar yet. Although there is a reaction on dollar yen which does tend to track the 10-year tre treasury yield uh, a little bit of a reaction higher on dollar yen um, but uh, yeah nothing's too sustainable yet uh, on this uh, on this dollar move anyway um other than that what have we got to look forward to today not a great deal really um we've got the existing home sales at three o'clock and the eia inventories we had the eapi inventories yesterday which um showed a larger than expected drawdown which has helped to support oil prices today um, so watch out for that at, uh, at 3.30 for the EIA inventories. But uh, my chance today is the dollar CAD. Now, dollar CAD is an interesting one because it's been ranging basically sideways for the past sort of uh, six weeks, seven weeks. And uh, yesterday it had an upside move uh, and failed again at the resistance. Uh, 29.18 was yesterday's high, uh, 29.15. 29, sorry, 2016 is, is, was the high in no, October. But again, it's sort of pulled back. And again, it seems to be failing. And you look at these momentum indicators, the RSI sort of dropping back at lower levels. <coughs> MACD lines, not really suggesting we're going to get a sharp upside break. And um, you'd be questioning the fact that um, dollar CAD hasn't broken out um, and the dollar hasn't sort of gained traction on the back of tax reform. Will it happen at all? Um, and yeah, it's, it certainly is looking a bit questionable, isn't it? You see this hourly chart, you can see the move high yesterday, which sort of fell back into the close. And uh, you'd be looking at initial support 28.40 now. Uh, if that breaks to the downside, then that would be a rolling over, wouldn't it? But you look at these momentum indicators, they are sort of beginning to sort of sort of move towards a more negative configuration, aren't they? So um, is, this a, is this a market that's going to continue to range? It certainly is threatening to be that way. Um, and uh, that would be sort of a, a more of a range, um, sort of a, more, a drop within the range once more. And um, the EIA inventories could have uh, a bit of a, uh, an impact on this because um, the, uh, the CAD does move on oil price. So uh, watch out for that this afternoon. But uh, yeah, interesting that the CAD continues to remain range bound. So I wish you good luck in your trading today and I will speak to you later.